When you think of Twin Cities diners, I think everybody goes, Mickey's. Right, right. Yeah. it's that iconic boxcar diner in downtown St. Paul. Yeah, it's been in a bunch of movies. It's right downtown, really easy to find. Well, Minneapolis also has a diner that's been around since the 1930s and has a really cool story. This week's guest pass takes us inside the Bandbox Diner. I really missed you guys. Are you ready to fly? Yeah! Let's be honest, the fact that the Bandbox Diner is featured at the start of the second Mighty Ducks movie is reason enough to stop by. There's more history here than mid-90s pop culture. Legend has it that in its early years, the Bandbox was a front for Minneapolis gangster Kid Can. You know, what I've heard is that they were running some kind of numbers, maybe betting here, collecting money here. That mystique is part of what drew Brad Tachek to buy the diner in 1998. I love old things and old bikes and old stuff. And it kind of seemed like it made sense. The band box gave Brad a chance to be his own boss after years of working as a chef and in catering companies. Doing uh, rock and roll catering. So I was doing, like, I did uh, the first seven or eight Lollapaloozas. But Brad has turned in that rock and roll life for what's become a family business. His daughter, Bailey, works as a server, and his two-year-old is helping to clean plates. Well, everything's fresh, everything's as local as I can get it, and everything's just simple and honest is basically it. So I'm it, asking you, is <laughs> right. there, isn't it near Elliott Park? So it's a little tough to find. Like It's easy to drive past. It's over in the Elliott Park neighborhood. It's okay. right on the corner of 10th Street and 14th Street, which is that right, way. Yeah, <laughs> it's are. like a mile from where we are here in downtown Minneapolis. They're not 24 hours like Mickey is, okay. Mickey's are. Uh, they're 9 to 9 Monday through Saturday and then 9 to 3 on Sunday. And I should say, they've got an amazing cup of coffee. Ooh. Like diner coffee is one of my favorite things in the world. Usually it's weak, but it's warm. How about hash browns? Excellent hash browns. This is actually good coffee. They have it flown in from Morocco, I want to say. Morocco? I think wow. that's right. I'll double check that. Of course you'd uh, like but that. Then that they, sounds super fancy. But it's really good. <laughs> it's really good. Uh, we're always looking for great ideas for Guest Pass, and you can let us know what you think we should do a story on. On Twitter, I'm Matt underscore Brickman. You can send an email to mbrickman at wcco.com or post your next Guest Pass suggestion on the WCCO This Morning Facebook page. Well, we are up here on the Roof because it's going to be a beautiful top day. Ten. Is that the dance that goes that's with the it? Top ten I think dance. that's top wow. ten dance. I haven't seen yes. that before. Maybe well, just I almost fell over. Yes. Okay. She'll teach us that during the break. Be